Innovation is a key theme here at the Telecom Congress and I'm talking to Vivek Chada of Tata. Vivek, tell us why innovation, we keep hearing it time after time this morning. Uh, Brian, I think uh, it is an important word and it's important because uh, it's been a fairly interesting series of years for the telecom industry put together. Uh, data growth, declining ARPUs, uh, the cost of ops is going up. Uh, and you've had a technology dimension that's come in with what's called the OTTs or the DSPs, if you want to call them. Uh, and that's a lot of food for thought. Uh, and innovation is seen as a way to try and break out of the old and embrace the new. Uh, and I think it's in two perspectives. Innovation to see how every telco can be a leaner machine to deliver what they deliver best. But innovation also to see how they can be more and different to what they've typically been to the consumer. So I think those are fundamental drivers that are causing everybody to discuss innovation. And I think this is something that you've been working on. You, you've got a solution geared to this. Absolutely, and uh, if I take a step back, um, I think you were there at Barcelona this year. We officially launched uh, what we call the Telecom uh, Blueprint, uh, Transformation Blueprint. Uh, this was an independent study that was done uh, with TCTS and Ovum. We canvassed uh, global CTOs across the world, or Ovum did on our behalf, and uh, ended up creating uh, a framework which effectively can be used by any telecom operator in the world to plot what their journey should be on this uh, sort of uh, end goal of transforming into the new agile, future-looking uh, telco. And it cuts across all facets of network, IT services, etc. Uh, taking a cue from that, uh, yes, you're right, we do have uh, more than one solution, but one in particular uh, I think is uh, becoming really uh, popular, uh, especially in Europe, and we're seeing a lot of demand for it, um, is a step, is an enabler to help the larger telcos adopt SDN NFE. That's another buzzword you might have been hearing for years now. Uh, I, I am happy to say that compared to the last two years, SDN NFE is now a reality in the sense that the adoption of SDN NFE is very much real and beginning now. Uh, till two years ago, we're still in the lab, uh, or even till last year. But now I think we're seeing it in the ground. Uh, we've heard CTOs from 3, etc. mention that they're already on that journey, full-fledged. What we have in place is, uh, for example, referring to this specific solution, is uh, a state-of-the-art uh, technology offering uh, and a solution built around it, which allows operators to completely virtualize their network and IT estate and achieve three things. One, faster time to market for any changes they want to do in the network or IT configuration. Uh, depending on how much they want to scale the solution, they can actually achieve this at almost near zero touch, which is unheard of in this industry. Uh, two, it helps them completely democratize their workforce. What I mean by that is, in this world where agile being another popular word, you don't necessarily need to have all your staff under the same roof in the same headquarter or in the same development center. You could have batches of teams in China and Hong Kong and San Francisco and in London or in Prague, and they could all start accessing and managing your infrastructure remotely as long as they have a secure connection. And the third thing it does is it maximizes the utilization of assets that you have. And I'm not talking about pure virtualization. This is a far step beyond. Uh, and uh, some of our customers have uh, already done the pilots and we're on our way to implementing this for a couple of them in Europe. And this is all helping you achieve quite significant growth, I think, in Europe. Uh, happy to say so, yes. Uh, this is one of the facets, uh, not the only one, obviously. Um, I think the key sort of areas of our business, the way we sort of look at it internally at least, is um, sort of two large buckets, one we call uh, RTB, run the business, the other we call CTB, change the business. Uh, the innovation examples are more in the change the business bucket. This is where we bring disruptive solutions or technologies, uh, including the best of breed uh, partner ecosystems from across the world that we source on behalf of our customers, and we allow them to react either to a technology change, a market force, or competition. Uh, hence, the disruption or change the business. Uh, run the business is more about taking a look at the customer's existing business processes, their assets, the way they deliver services, and fundamentally transforming the operating model on which they do this, and giving them a much more uh, agile, cost-effective, and transformational way to address things around customer experience, availability, etc. Okay, well, thank you very much for talking to us. Thanks for having me here. Appreciate it.